Aloha, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Mahalo for joining me here on Restaurants of Hawaii on the Think Tech platform. Today, we're going to be discussing if you received your employee retention credit or your ERC. If you did not, it's not too late to apply. I'd like to welcome uh, my guest today, Skip. Hey, Skip, how are you? Cheryl, it's great to see your smiling face again. Always, Skip, to nice to see you. And I've heard so much wonderful feedback of all of the businesses, especially restaurants that you've helped here in Hawaii. Skip, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let everyone know your full name, the organization, the company you're with, and a little bit about what you do. Thank you, Cheryl. So my name is Skip Knopf. I'm with ERC Today. And as name implies, we help to educate and assist business owners that qualify for the employee retention credit. It's a stimulus money that came out with the CARES Act during the COVID times. And I got to tell you, probably in my highlights of the past two years of participating in this program, the, the probably the, the most fun I had was being a participant of the Hawaii Restaurant Convention uh, the, the hotel and restaurant con show, um, and it was just a lot of fun. It was fun because everybody was getting back from COVID, and they were interested in le learning. Um, uh, your members are just phenomenal people. Thank you, Skip. And it's so nice to hear that feedback. You know, during the pandemic, as, as we're now out of it, I can look back and say, you're right. It was really, really a tough time. But what gives me joy and the reason that I do what I do, Skip, is because we're helping restaurants and we're helping the food service industry helping them with things like in the beginning of the pandemic, of course, getting through the PPP. And then, of course, there was the idol. Then there was the restaurant revitalization fund. But nothing brings us more joy than bringing people, right, some kind of a relief. And financial relief is always number one. Providing the ERC and explaining to our restaurants to please just apply even when a lot of the, how can I say it, Skip, the naysayers, the non-believers yeah. were saying that, you know, it's not real and that they wouldn't qualify. When I get those calls, Skip, from those restaurant tours and say, Cheryl, it's real. I got my, I got my employee retention credit and, and just so happy because any little bit helps, right, Skip? Maybe you have some stories you want to share about people who were also the non-believers and received a ERC check. That, that's true. In fact, um, more chances than, than, than not in the very beginning, uh, when I was calling your members, th they were like, mm, you know, I'm not sure that I've heard about this or I'm not sure it's real or it sounds too good to be true and I don't know. And and some will go, well, you know, I, I'm willing to try this out. And um, But I will say without reservation or question, from the beginning all the way through just the other day, because they were members of the HRA, they were comfortable and confident that y'all ferreted it out and verified us and they just said, I'm, I'm up, let's do this. I'll ask me the questions to see if we qualify. So it was, um, it was a lot of fun. And, and that's, you know, if anything come, came out of the pandemic, we were just really grateful that, you know, the ERC was approved by our government as part of the COVID relief. So, so before we get ahead of ourselves, Skip, so explain what is the employee retention credit or ERC and um, give them a little background about it. Okay. Well, the, um, the, the benefits are you can get up to, as you everybody's heard across the every ad, it seems now $26,000 per employee should you qualify. Now that's, that's true mathematically, but not realistically. I've, I myself have done 31 million. Our company's done uh, over 300 million tax credits across the U.S. And 
the reason that number doesn't really happen is because most everybody got PPP. Okay. And you can apply for both. You just can't double dip. And so that, for that reason, uh, we will get your payrolls in. We pull the PPP out and the remaining, and we go through the formula to make sure you get your max amount. So that's, that's the takeaway dollars from the IRS. Very nice, Gip. And today's topic, because many of the um, people who are following us and subscribed and our members think that it's already done. Yeah. The employee retention credit, if you didn't do it back yeah. in 2022, it's done. Um, so do you want to discuss a little bit more about the extension and the date of the extension and how they can still go back and apply for this credit? You're correct, Cheryl. So the IRS, um, realizing that the PBP was broadcast through the, the U.S. by supporting the supports from the bank, okay? And they spent a lot of money in that, and that was good. Uh, but there's very little broadcasting about the ERC. And when they realized it's a good thing, and everybody should, they should see if they qualify, um, that there wasn't that much traffic out there. So they did extend it. So the way it goes is that 2019, that's the year that everybody, the IRS uses as your basis point. So these are your sales and your payroll prior to the pandemic. Okay. And then look at 2020 and 2021, you can qualify accordingly. And, and the deadline for 2020 is April 15th of 2024. So next year, we just got a few months here and it's out. Okay. And for 2021, it will be April 15th of 25. So the clock is, is, is ticking down and, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Um, in fact, uh, uh, yesterday I had a company call me and said, you know what, we just, we kept thinking that, that we may not qualify. And do you think we may? And yeah, they certainly did. So let us take it upon ourselves at ERC today to see if you do. Um, because this is money from the IRS coming back to you as a reward. Because you know what? You stepped up during this time. You kept your employees on payroll. And you deserve this portion back to you. Exactly. And today's... today's um discussion is all about don't miss the boat and as yeah. you said you know the the it will run out and there is deadlines and so today's discussion is all about please you know if you have any if you haven't already at least attempted to find out if you do qualify to please find out if you truly do not qualify chances are you do so now yeah. let's share share with us skip who qualifies for the ERC Right. Well, when we talk about restaurants, it's it's restaurants that have indoor seating. Okay, you most likely will qualify. And also looking at hotels and hospitality world, any times that you have is called a capacity restriction, which means that if the government says you can't have the your customers in this area at whatever, then yeah, you should qualify. Now, note that there is also a maximum number of employees full time to apply. Okay. So, and in 2020, it was 100 full time employees, unlimited part time. Okay. In 2021, it goes up to 500 full time employees, unlimited part time. Okay. So, um, these are questions that our analysts ask to make sure you get the money because we don't want a situation that you get a big check and the IRS knocks in doors and says, hmm, I don't think so. Bring that back and here's the interest payment. Okay. That's a bad surprise. Um, also, you need to look at ownership. If your uh, restaurant has a corporate owner or there are, I can say, other members of the ownership, 
say there's two people and then you're running a restaurant and you've got 20 employees, you're fine. Maybe your partner has another business, doesn't have to be a restaurant, and they have 500 full-time employees, you're out. Okay, so these are the deep dive questions we go in to make sure that you're getting, one, if you do qualify, that you get the correct amount. So looking at, um, so again, for restaurants, hospitality, capacity restriction, most likely you're good, good to go, okay? If you aren't in the restaurant world uh, and your sales went down, you could qualify. Again, using 2019 as a basis point, when you look at 2020, if you had a quarter that was down by 50% compared to the quarter before in 19, you should qualify for that quarter, okay? And in 2021, if quarter one, two, or three, or taken off the table because of the budget, but quarter one, two, or three, if you're down by just 20% compared to the same quarter and 2019, you should qualify. And if you qualify on the reduction of sales, get a little technical here, when you get one quarter, the IRS will give you the second quarter, okay? So most of your members don't have to worry about that, but it is an opportunity. Now, don't concern yourself if you're a restaurant and had a capacity restriction. Um, if your sales doubled, you still qualify. So a lot of people said, well, you know, my sales didn't go down and, you know, I'm a restaurant and our sales were great. So my, my accounting professional said we didn't qualify. Mm -mm. You can, most likely can. Okay. And believe me, I've had the, the smartest of financial advisors tell all size restaurants from five employees to really big ones. That they didn't. I mean, these are these are the big accounting firms saying you didn't qualify. Uh, well, because they're a restaurant, they will. Very good. Well, you know that's what the Hawaii Restaurant Association is all about: ensuring that our members and that the industry is very well informed. And that's what you do a great job, Skip, in informing our our members. Now, the IRS changed the rules after the first year. And so we want to talk about PPP plus if they've received PPP, do they still, are they still able to qualify for an employee retention credit? Yes, you still can get both. The first year, you're right, you couldn't do both. And then they realized it's a really good thing. Most weren't applying for the ERC, changed the rules, and that's what we got in the game. And what's interesting, um, I'm watching the national news. And I hear about the um, strong hold from your local government about restrictions. And I go, those people need help more than anybody else in the U.S. Let's give them a call and go see them. But yeah, that, it did change. Very good. Thank you for informing our members because it's coming straight from you. So now the other question that I get asked often is, do I have to pay back the employee retention credit funds that I receive? Do I have to pay it back? Cheryl, you're right. No. Uh, yes, the PPP you had to qualify for, uh, and, but the, the ERC or ERTC, you do not. And it's the IRS rewarding you for you stepping up and helping your helping employees during that period of time. So it's yours. Uh, now, you know, it's one of those things that uh, it's unrestricted too, so long you use it and the growth for your company. So whether you want to buy a cooler or put in your payroll for your employees, that, that you have discretion of how you want to use it, so long as it's for the uh, benefit of the company. Very nice. Yes. And, um, you know, we received our um, fund, our employee retention credit funds at my restaurants. But in general, how long does it take for a restaurateur to receive the money from the IRS? It depends on the amount. And we, we it's not, IRS has, it hasn't been really clear about this. But our best understanding is that if your total amount is less than $200,000, you should get it within two months. Okay. If it's over that, it could be six to nine. 
and um, that's a long time away. Uh, and I think people are pretty much willing to wait, knowing that they weren't going to have it otherwise. So this is great news, great information. We do have an advanced funding option. It costs more. I'm not a fan of that to pay more, uh, but um, you know it's it's yeah. So the two months small, six to nine months if you're larger. And I got to tell you, if you got two companies same size, they sent their their, their um, uh, application on the same day. They're not going to get it the same month. So, it's just the way it goes, but they'll get yeah. their funds. Yeah. It's just, you said it's hard to predict, right, yes. when you're going to be getting that check. But you will be getting the check, and that's the main part of it all, Skip. That's so right. I've been following the news, Skip, and there has been a lot of fraud out there with the PPP. Mm -hmm. What should our members be on the lookout for? Oh, true, Cheryl. Um, that, the PPP fraud, you're right, has been pretty big. My, I, I think that the ERC fraud will be probably twice that amount that we saw with the PPP. Um, we, we, and it's from both sides, processors and applicants. You know, we've, um, we've heard of applicants out there, processors, uh, I say processors out there that so aren't asking these questions about ownership. They're not asking about, did you get PPP? Um, I mean, really, we heard of one company that called us and said, you know, we, we've got 10 employees and, you know, one of your competitors said we're going to get 10 times $26,000. And our question was, well, did you get PPP? Oh, yeah, we did. I said, well, it's not going to work out. And, and you know, yet they, you know, anyway, it happens that way. Um, also, um, We've had uh, applicants send in, oh, like, we get about a number of them a week that are, we can tell they're not correct. When do you have two companies that are different with identical 941s? Never going to happen. So that's, that's, that's yeah, it's, it's, it's a sad state. But it's it happens. Gosh, Skip. So you know, talking about that subject. So what about being audited? What does ERC today offer to help the business that they've you know filed the year? Well, they've submitted the ERC. You know, what are they doing to help the people, the customers, their clients? Thank you. Yes. Well, we include in our, our initial charge. The it's called an audit protection documentation, which simply states, should you get audited, it will deliver to you uh, for no additional cost the documents. Which so it shows one that we're saying that you do qualify for these reasons, and that the amounts that you receive are correct per these perils and sales. Uh, and basically, it's just here it is, and you sent to IRS and. That, that should take care of everything. Um, sometimes your CPAs want this information ahead of time. We're happy to give that to them as well um, because we believe that this is, uh, this is uh, really details that you need to have in hand. Uh, now, the, the opportunity of, or, or the probability of being audited, it's pretty small uh, unless you get over a million dollars. So it's... We, you know, it's it's there, but you know, if, if you go through us, I don't think you have a thing to worry about. That's assuring, Skip. Thank you so much. So, as I mentioned in the very beginning, you know, one of the initiatives for the Hawaii Restaurant Association is always to ensure that we provide information to our members. And I shared with you some of my experiences when people receive their check and they just want to thank me. They say, oh my God, Cheryl, it was just like a, a Christmas gift from heaven, right? That they're just so happy. What are some of the experiences um, that you experienced from your clients regarding the employee retention credit? Well, it, it, they, people use it in all different ways. Um, it, it, it's interesting that <clears throat> some say, 
I've got a cooler I got to get fixed. Some say I have a, a, a fryer or a oven or a renovation. It, they, they, everybody has these in their mind. Um, and what's, ex what's interesting is, especially the ones that, you know, my average returns are about $585,000. Okay. And so they go through it. We process them. We send them the 941s. Uh, uh, they sign it, mail it to the IRS one month, two months, and then they, they have a call and say, Hey, um, have you seen anything? They say, No, we've, we still got some more time. Okay. And then they'll call back and they say, You know, um, I want to order this and this and this. I said, Well, you know, that's when you get your check, that's when you have your money. That's up to you. But I guess my point is, in the beginning, it's just a dream of what could happen. Then when they, Bill it to IRS, they're, they're in their mind already spending on what they could do it with it. Um, and then I've had a few that just said, you know, I've, I'm cashing these checks and I'm just going to put it in the bank because, you know, it, there may be another situation in the future that I'll need it. So it's, it's, it's a, quite a variety of it. But um, truly, everybody is very um, ec excited to have that relief. It's just, it's just, um, very endearing. Well, one of the comments I hear from the restaurant tours often is, you know, in the beginning of the pandemic skip, there was the PPP and then the IDLE and then Restaurant Revitalization Fund and the ERC, right? And they're telling me that, you know, pretty much they know that there's not going to be any more support, you know, coming out of the federal government. So today's message is if you haven't taking advantage of the employee retention credit. The deadline is it's next year, the 20, uh, 2024. And as Skip said, also um, for the year's filing, Skip, you want to give them the dates again? If they haven't filed for the ERC in 20... So April 15th of next year, 24, that's your deadline filing for 2020. And then following year, April 15th of 24 for 2021. Um, we would encourage everybody to do it all. Let me tell you about what we'll need from, from y'all to process this, okay? For 2019, 2020, and 2021, we'll need your payrolls per quarter, and then we'll need your sales per quarter. And if you have any health insurance, that's it does help a little bit. Um, but we'll do all those. In fact, if you have a payroll service, most likely we'll be able to pull that automatically from the payroll service with your permission. So payrolls, sales, and if you have health insurance on top of that. And uh, then we're getting back pretty quickly uh, for confirmation of, of um, some of the uh, qualifying. And then it takes about seven, 10 days after that, and uh, you'll get the uh, information in an email. You sign it, mail to IRS. Our process takes anywhere from, it depends on how quickly or slowly we get the information from the client. <clears throat> Once it's all in, it's about uh, a couple weeks. And then it's back to them to sign off. And mount to IRS and then and then along the way there. But it's um it I always say there's nothing you can do with your own calendar that gives you a return better than this. And I know some people have been really, really busy, swamped. You know, they they they're having to cover a lot of different roles. People have left and they can't find anybody to fill it. I understand. That yeah, that's tough. Um um, and so, you know, maybe it's a good thing to carve out something at night and, you know, send us an email and say, let's kind of dig this through uh, and we'll just pick it up as we can. So if you're, you have an online payroll service, we can probably pick that up for you. And if you have the, um, if you need help with your CPA, giving us the information on your, on your um, sales, we can work with them. So work. Anything and everything we do to help life easier for your members, we'd love doing. 
Thank you, Skip. And thank you so much for joining me today. And in closing to our members and subscribers, you know, the Hawaii Restaurant Association remains steadfast in our commitment to supporting Hawaii's restaurants and the food service industry. And we understand the challenges that we are all facing together. And together we can overcome them. The extended employee retention tax credit, the largest government stimulus program in history, is here to booster our efforts and has been extended to April 15, 2024. Again, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.